Hey guys! So I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Um, not really journal related, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through some of my stuff that I'm rediscovering as I unpack. I finally got everything in one place for the first time in almost two years maybe, maybe longer than that. Um, because we started putting things into storage well before we sold the house and it took us about a year and a half to do that almost two years so I'm going through all my stuff and it's like just rediscovering memories I've got so much stuff for as much as we've pared down my goodness so much stuff I am overwhelmed and I'm kind of taking it in stages where I've finally gotten a little bit of time to go through my personal things and I want to resituate, put them into very specific boxes like childhood, art, um, just things that I know I'm not going to want to keep out and I want to put into storage immediately, or not storage, but into boxes, into a closet. So before I do that, I thought I would go through some of the fun things that I came across so I can put them away. Um, I'm going to start off with this one because this is my favorite. I totally forgot that I had this. And I, you know, didn't even realize that I put it into a chocolate box that was um, obviously London themed. So it's got Trafalgar Square on it, Tower Bridge, Parliament, Big Ben on the left there. Oops, sorry, a bunch of you there. It's an old chocolate box that my parents had. And inside, I have all these careful that I don't tip everything over. All these paper dolls that I've had since I was a child. We used to play these, my cousin and I, in China and Hong Kong. And they would just come in booklets. You would just punch them out. And I had different themes. So I had like a regular, just girly theme. So she was more like casual, modern. And then I had like super flower prom dress, ballroom kind of theme. And then I also had like a fairy set. So that was the first thing that I showed you. So they were kind of just... Paper dolls were a huge thing back in the day. It's kind of a shame that kids don't play this stuff anymore because it's such a simple, simple little thing. I'm trying to pick out some fun ones, so... I don't know. I thought that was kind of fun. So that's going to be going into the closet dug up an old folder that I decorated with lots of black and white images this was like I think from high school and I like taped it up with packing tape and then on the inside just all sorts of images that inspired me I was really into just like collaging and magazine cutouts and stuff this was like oh my god I don't even know how long this was like a report on bunnies way back in the day, I think I was like in second grade. So clearly my love for bunnies started a long time ago. Oh, so I had a Paris theme going on this one. Don't have too much lighting going on right now, so um, hopefully this is visible for you guys. Um, oh gosh, what else? An old pencil, uh, pencil, colored pencil set? Yeah, I think my cousin gave this to me with Hello Kitty on it. I was obsessed with Hello Kitty back in the day. That was even before it came to America and it became popular. Oh, I have a bunch of like junk journals. I might do some more junk journal shares because I have a lot of them. Some Apple pins. I used to work at Apple and I used to run a lot of um, Apple camps. So I would teach kids how to use iMovie and creatively utilize their items. Sorry if you hear the kids on the outside. I have the window open because it's kind of warm today. An old autograph book from Disney World. So it's kind of fun. Got quite a few autographs for being there for just a few days. Oh, Cinderella. That was my favorite one. Glad I kept that. Um... <laughs> My wand, my Hermione Granger wand from uh, Universal Studios. Can I even get this open? 
it's like one of those things where you go there and you buy it and then you're like, what, what do I do with it when I get home? So maybe I'll take it out for Halloween. Sketches. Bonus points if you uh, can name these Pokemon. I used to practice a lot of Pokemon sketching. I just ripped them out of a sketchbook that was like half filled before I packed it. So I think that's one of my favorites. So, we've got Pokemon sketching. Um, more London themed stuff. I think this was a project from college for like a, an abstract thing. You had to just do something with uh, something that you loved. And clearly, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know what that is. So, I kept it because I really liked it. I did a lot of trace paper stuff, so I drew out the image and then I would trace it onto can't remember what kind of paper and then trace paper and then I would flip it over and then draw over that again with pencil and then that outline would be like very faint on and then I would go over it again with pencil so that's an old college project I went to school um, a fine art school for uh, interior design so I did a lot of art obviously was my main focus Lisa Frank, do you guys remember Lisa Frank? Man, I remember Christmas Day opening this and I was so excited. And sticker collecting was like the thing back in the day. So that's all. And I had like all the little compartments to put all your stickers because they were perforated. So you, you could stick them into the organizers the way you wanted them to. So how fun. I'm thinking I might scrapbook some of this stuff. Cause like, what else am I gonna do with it? I've got a huge Ziploc bag of things that I've come across. I've just stuck in there, like all my pen pal letters and things that they've sent me or like cool little washy things that they stuck on their letters. I'm thinking of just doing a big junk journal with all that. So let me know if you guys are interested in doing like a junk journal flip for like my pen pal stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff like I'm going through, guys. It's like I wish sometimes I wasn't so sentimental. <laughs> so I wasn't, so I won't be holding on to all of this stuff. I was really into painting back in like middle school. So that's my Starry Night by Van Gogh. I did a couple versions of this, but that was a fun thing to paint. I was obsessed with Alicia Silverstone, so I have her poster book and it's got like fact sheets and stuff. More stickers. This I got in Hong Kong. And then you would just put in all your favorite stickers. Apparently I'd organized it at some point. And then you would trade them. So that's always fun. Oh, these were awesome these because they were glittery so we've got that found my old 64 set of crayons with my name on it my old poly pocket remember these oh good I didn't lose Polly she's still in there that's cool and this opens up and I think this opens up too. Kind of fun. I think that was my only Polly Pocket. Somehow ended up with my brother's crayons. So, <laughs> got two sets of crayons. Remember Tamagotchi keychains? I don't think this is the Tamagotchi brand, but my cousins and I were obsessed with this. And then of course, they'd always, the cat always died because it would poop like 50 times a day, but I still kept that. I found one of these books. This was my favorite. You know, the ones that you put in the cassette tape and then you would read along with it and it would do that little ringing sound to turn the page. So this was my favorite, Ariel, I think. Ariel and Belle were my favorite Disney princesses. So I kept that. I actually have the cassette somewhere. I packed it away already in a separate box, but I thought that would be fun to show. And what else? I'm getting to the end of it. A 
apparently I had Tombow wax pencils for the longest time and didn't even know it. Because, you know, all these Asian brands, when you grow up with it, you don't really think about the brand name. You just use them. And then, you know, now they've, they've become a little bit more mainstream. I think that's really cool. Um, I know the names of them now. So these are Tombow, like Pico. They're like waxy. The whole thing is just the like pencil. It's like a pencil crayon. And then it comes with an extender, an eraser, and a sharpener. Had these for the longest time. Comes with some cute tin. And these are super popular back in the day when I was a kid. You'd get these little locks and then on the inside you would just lock in your, you know, trinkets and treasures. Maybe I'll go through that another day. I don't want this to be a too long of a video, but I kept the lock and everything. I'm pretty sure there's like little folding star kits inside. And I think that's it. That's all my childhood stuff. I've got a lot of other random things. I don't know, do I want to show you guys? I'll show you guys. I'll swing you guys around. So if you guys can see this, this is my grandfather's old, I guess, briefcase. He brought this to America from Hong Kong. It's still got the sticker and everything. The buckle still works. It opens up and there's three compartments. I don't know if you can see, but it's a well-made leather case that he didn't want anymore, so I grabbed it. And I use it to store, I used to use it to store some documents, but now I don't really have a need for it. But uh, this traveled a long way. Because this is when he came to America with. So I thought that'd be a fun thing to show you guys. I am not sure if I'll be able to post a video this week aside from this one just because it's going to be a little bit busy with the unpacking and such. So I just wanted to post a little fun video that's not necessarily journal related but a fun walk down memory lane. I hope you guys are doing well this week and off to a great start of this week and I will check in with you guys later. Bye.